in college, I always saved money. Um, I thought I could save enough money, and during the summer, I'll go to New York for a week and watch all the great musical theater because it's nothing like Broadway. So one particular summer, um, I had seen everything on Broadway. It was a great season, and I had some money left. And I didn't know what else to see. And my friend basically said, you should go down the street and check out this play. It's really interesting. It's been running forever. And I said, well, all right, I'll go see a play. You know, what's going to do? Walked into this theater. Um, there were six people in the audience. The walls were filled with numbers and names, all crossed out. And on stage, when the play began, it was the most visceral thing I've ever seen. Um, they were basically talking about what's going on in the city at the time. And there were probably more actors on stage than there were in the audience. When I came out, I realized the play followed me into the street. And it was in the late 80s, and it was The Normal Heart by Larry Kramer at the Public Theater. And that play had a huge impact on me because I realized musical theater is great. No matter what, I'll always love it. But what taught me most about theater was that it was immediate. It's about what we had to do as citizens of this country and this world, and how we can further change it. And it's through theater. And immediately that day onwards, which is fascinating, I inadvertently and probably subconsciously veered into theater in terms of drama and in terms of playwriting and directing.